Hey friends, I'm at Chain Reaction. I'm Patrick Maloney with Phil from the one and the only, the incredible First Fragment. How are you doing tonight, sir? Good, man. How'd you uh, like the show and how'd you like SoCal? Amazing. Uh, we met people that have been listening to us since 2008. Yeah. Like the first demo because from the, from the band, that blows me away. You know, to meet people uh, so far away from home that, has been, that have been following us for this long, it blows me away personally. I know I heard about you guys about five, six years ago when that first album that I heard come out. And I mean, it hasn't left my playlist. I've been listening to it nonstop. I'm sorry, my French isn't good. I might, like, I go and translate and double check. But that first album is, a, well, the first one I heard, which would be technically your second one, right? Yeah. That album's amazing. But this new one, there's something special. I mean, there's like flamenco. There's so many different styles combined into it. Um, what was your inspiration growing up? I got to ask, do you like things like Carlos Montoya, Andre Segovia? Do you like things like Inve Malmsteen or Maiden? What is it that just got into you to make this kind of like mix of amazing mix of genres all in the death metal? I, well, I grew up listening to Judas Priest and I were made them. And uh, yeah. Um, well, immediately after, I mean, I was crazy about New Wave of British heavy metal. I kind of transitioned to, uh, you know, Racer X, Mobs 2, uh, Joy Tafola, Tony McElfine, basically all the trap metal records, uh, roster from the 80s. Um, you know, hearing some of these, these guitarists implement classical guitars kind of got me interested. It's like, you know, listening to, like, for example, like the band Warlord, which is, I'm a big fan of, you know. Uh, mentioned his influences being Bach and, and uh, uh, Paco de Lucia and etc. So it made me go, go go back and also like made me appreciate some of these uh, these composers a little more. So obviously it made me want to in the future implement more of these influences in my own music. So the first fragment when we started it was technical death metal, but the more time more time went on, the more of these influences became apparent, which is the result of you know. Glory Eternel is the culmination of like all these years of like practice and uh, like cultivating like a, 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 a rich um, assemblage of, of like influences. So it's like we're influenced by obviously extreme metal, but also baroque music, romantic era classical music, flamenco, and a lot of obscure parallel movies. So I, like do, the, I grew yeah. up in a time where people were like, you know, that's not cool to listen to that. You have to just be one style, one genre, and it's like, no, no, I love everything. So when I hear your music, it, it's refreshing to hear something new into something that I love that's also old and brutal, but also something that makes you want to dance actually I mean oh, yeah. it's, it's surreal to see that literally people are dancing to your music tonight and it's, cool. it's not just people beating each other down yeah. it's actually very uh, not just a positive but something very special and you guys have something special I don't know what's in the water up there because some of my favorite bands of all time Gore Guts you know Cryptopsy probably my favorite band of all time Rush you know Canada just has some of the greatest stuff and then great you know stuff like I love growing up like Animation came from you guys. I love great musicians, but also great comedians, art uh, directors, and it's just a great place. And I mean, you should be proud that you guys are true ambassadors of Canada. So I gotta ask: Is there still a deal where, when you go back home, do you guys get paid, or did they give you a, a tax break for being musicians in Canada still? Well, we could. It depends on how you. Uh, so basically, everything is is done through my label. But if we say made a bank account for the band or something, you know, whatever. Um, we could technically get it rent. Uh, it's not happening anytime. So everything is funded ourselves. We don't even we don't even like get help for our, our, our label in any leader. We don't even I don't even I don't even want to associate with them anymore, you know what I mean? So you can keep that on the interview. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm free. I'm free to. I I I don't feel. Um, I, I I feel like okay seeing this. I, I think mean? unique leaders like an open mic. It's a great example of a starting place for people to find you. But you know, a lot of great bands I love came from them. So. We, yes, me too. So it's like Mortal Decay is one of my favorite bands. Dude, you know, they've had Flesh. great bands. Yeah, but we don't fit on that label anymore. And we have just been doing our own thing. I started my own label, TSO. And basically, it's a collective of all my bands. So not just for Fragment, but like T-List, uh, a tremendous some of the stuff I've been working on. And TSO has been also uh, tied with bands from my own bandmates as well. So it's like a collective of bands from the Montreal area. Uh, death metal, black metal, power metal, doom metal, like multiple subgenres. And I feel like this label is the one that's going to push for Fragment. Not just for Fragment, but on all these other bands. 
to create like a like a like really sick underground movement in Quebec. You know what I mean? So TSO is the is the uh, first track that's shape, you know what I mean? And that's it's it's everything is done by ourselves, we're not getting money from the government, we're just funding it by selling a fuck ton of merch, fucking rocking, you know what I mean? We buy literally a hundred dollars in merch because you guys have some killer shirts, great albums. I even got your first album, so I'm looking forward to learning yeah. six on EP. Is it six or five? I, I love six. six. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited to hear that because hey, it's something new for the ride home. Yeah. Um, is it your brother and you, right? Still doing the band? What's up? Is it still your brother and you? Oh, no, I'm a single. I'm a uh, single. Yeah, I, I see the thing on Spotify. I'm like, I got to ask, but that's okay. Because, you know, that when I do this, I do always double check and make sure I have all the information. I just know if it's a band that I love, I want to talk to you. Yeah. And I truly, I know it's getting a little loud here, so we'll end this pretty soon. I just want to say, you guys truly have a special um, future in front of you. You guys are going to get bigger, badder. You're going to go on to, you guys are going to be as big as our modern mom. You guys might be the next maiden. I'm not even fucking around. I legitimately think that you guys have a very bright future. And I, no joke, have told some very big guys about you in the last few years. Guys I work for, hospitality and musicians, and some great musicians I love that I said, hey guys, check this out. It's something special. You know, people that are not from death metal, people outside of the genre, and they're just like, yeah, this is special. So I think you guys are going to be going to really bright places. You guys are going to be headlining festivals. You guys are going to be um, having an incredible life. And I'm just glad to get to talk to you on your very first tour of uh, SoCal of the United States. And I can't wait to see you guys again. Well, I am gave it away. very fly right about what you just said. Uh, we definitely feel ambitious enough to, obviously we're going to push for or you know, not uh, play just, no, I love playing underground tours with underground bands, but we also want to play bigger stages with bigger bands, and it's exactly what we want to do, and it's exactly what we're going to try to do. You know? I see you guys opening for people like Dream Theater, I see you guys opening for why not? Yeah, There's no why not? reason why you yeah. shouldn't cross genres. You guys, um, yeah, we have a pl plenty of like subgenres in our music, so we're talking about it with the guys. It's like we, we can play with technical death metal bands, but we can also tour with trash and power metal bands yeah. and like rock bands, you know what I mean? So that, that's the thing. I feel like when you're playing this style of music, you gotta think about it's like, okay, yeah, the music you gotta play is, it has to be more ambitious, um, but the, 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 this mentality has to cross over also, like into yeah. like what are you gonna do as a band, like where you who are you gonna associate with, who you're gonna tour with, you know what I mean? It, I feel like if you're just gonna tour with the same kind of band, you're gonna limit yourself. You're gonna like you're not gonna tour with your audience, you know what I mean? So that's exactly what we're planning to do. I won't lie though, I love the fact that the first tour was an archaic. I think archaic is oh, yes. amazing. They're old friends exactly. of ours from and they're from my old well someone from Riverside, California. I wouldn't have a different. Like yeah. honestly I love these guys. I love everyone on this tour. It's been like a blast. Everyone is like just moving around, joking around. Everyone is positive. No divas, no egos, not on the bullshit. Perfect. Just talking to your drummer, I'll yeah. tell you, you guys oh, yeah. are characters. Oh, yeah. I gotta say, uh, so I'll cut this because I keep wanting to talk to you. Your drive, your integrity, and your talent is gonna get you somewhere. You keep it up, man. I'm proud of what you guys are doing. And I'm glad to meet you. I mean, we were talking about, I didn't want to go to Canada to see you. I'm glad you came here. But you know what? If you have to go 100 miles, 200, or 700 miles, Go see this band right away. Buy their merch. And uh, any last words, sir? Um, you don't have any last words. Keep supporting underground metal. That's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. You too. Cheers.